On June 22nd, thousands of mourners gathered near the town of Sarman, northwest of Libya, to bury 15 victims of the latest NATO airstrikes, which took place on June 20th. On the same day, Danish Foreign Minister Lenny Espersen announced that Denmark, a member of NATO, has acknowledged the National Transitional Council as the only legitimate body to represent Libyans. Denmark regards the TNC as the sole legitimate representative of the Libyan people and that we will support you and hope that you will be able to include all people of Libya so that a united Libya that is free and democratic uh, will be the result of all uh, of our efforts. We condemn in the strongest possible terms these acts of the Gaddafi regime against civilians who exercise their legitimate right to demand a better future. Of course, we are telling our NATO partners that are not participating, there's something called burden sharing, and that we would like for more countries to help make sure that the UN resolution uh, is being put into force. The Libyan government, on the other hand, are criticizing NATO's mission, that the air raids are targeting civilians. Officials estimate that 700 have been killed, an amount which NATO denies. We have been calling for peace and negotiation for months, and no one wants to listen to us. And now we have to pay a very heavy price of um, casualties, civilian casualties, and also military casualties. I think the time has come for the world to understand that this conflict has to come to an end immediately. <laughs> Countless lives have been claimed since the uprising began mid-February, and funerals have become a common event, as clashes between rebel forces and troops loyal to Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi continue. <laughs> However, Libyans are debating whether all of the deceased should be labeled as martyrs. Just because you're fighting on the front line, I can't confirm that you are a jihad fighter or not. Because, based on the Islamic Sharia, there are certain standards for jihad fighting. But everyone thinks that he is fighting for his rights. So each fighter feels that he is in battle due to his own principle. Earlier this month, the International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for Mr. Qaddafi, accusing him of killing protesters. Noura Faraj, Al Arabiya, 